This is Frank from Frank's Transmissions. We're going to cover a problem that the Jeep Wrangler has with their little five speeds. They have these in the four cylinder and the V6. They call them a AX5 if it's a four cylinder and it's a AX15 if it's a V6. Uh, we're going to show you some problems they have where they rip the teeth off of the gears. This particular one you can see this counter shaft where the needle bearings ride right here. This is where fifth gear rides on the end of the counter shaft. They have two types of these. One counter shaft has a slot here for a snap ring and the other design has a, a threaded shaft for a nut. Okay, now this one, the uh, bearing was so loose on here it allowed the fifth gear to rock around so bad you can see the teeth on this fifth gear are totally destroyed the teeth on the fifth gear for the main shaft most of them are gone okay also when you're checking one of these out uh, if you're going to think about rebuilding it if you see any kind of scratch marks on the back of the brass rings that's an indicator that the rings are totally wore out and they're rubbing against the cone or the gear next to the cone on the gear. Now we've already got this transmission tore down, cleaned up, we've got the new parts for it. All of the main components will be loaded into this center support on this transmission and then the front and rear case halves will be put on later. Um, this is your reverse slider input shaft got the new brass here and all these i take some um, i take 180 grit wet or dry sandpaper and i knock the glaze off these cones i don't get crazy with it but uh, you need to knock the glaze off so these cones will bite your synchronizer basically is a brake and when you shift this it slows these gears down so that they will mesh and line up with the slider this is the slider for the input shaft right here. Um, I've got the brass already loaded onto first and second gear here. They're clean. The cones have already been sanded. I've got the new cluster gear here. That looks a lot better. And the replacement bearing that they sent for this one is a one piece bearing on this one instead of being, instead of being split like the old original one. But we're going to start assembling this transmission onto the main shaft. And a lot of this has to be pressed on with a press. Um, if you're taking these apart, be real careful with the little pieces. As you see, there are a lot of small parts and they're hard to find these. You can't just order these from anybody. I got lucky and found that all these parts from a parts supplier in Springfield, Missouri. They sent me the bearing kit, seal kit, all the gaskets. I got the cluster gear, synchronizers, everything. They had everything in stock. I was really pleased. Uh, when you're also taking these apart, I take a, a little die grinder and I mark these plungers that push on the side of the shift lever on the outside of the case which side is right and which side is left because uh, there's a different amount of spring tension on these plungers right here and it will make a difference in how good it works. This one's a lot stiffer on the left side than the, the one on the right. But we'll start assembling this and uh, we'll follow up on a video after this. We'll call this part one AX5.